Hey there, how you doing? Change of scenery today. Thought we'd uh, bring it outside since the <clears throat> weather's getting a little nicer. So we're gonna chat today about the C word. No, the really bad C word. We're gonna talk about cancer. Cancer's a scary word. It, um, you know, it's, it's the last word that you really ever wanna hear in your life. So it, there's a lot of anxiety associated with it, and naturally um, it could disrupt <clears throat> and destroy your life, not to mention um, you know, your health and, and, and your family and everything. So what I'd like to do, what I'd like to talk about today is some possible theories that I've come up with over, to, over the years as to where cancer comes from. Now, we all know that there's a, a genetic component, you know, there's genes that are passed down in your DNA that may predispose you for certain types of cancer. This is be trickling down from family member to family member. But there's also other reasons to get cancer, and a lot of them are lifestyle, associ associated with lifestyle, um, things that you do with your body. Um, are not necessarily conducive to healthy cells. So for instance, if, um, if you're smoking your entire life, that's not a good, good thing, all right? If you're taking lots of drugs and medications, that can lead to different types of cancer. Um, getting your skin burned all the time, as you know, leads to cancer. But also, lifestyle-wise, nutrition is huge. Um, nutrition is big because your body's constantly creating itself, or, or I should use the word recreating itself. Uh, scientists say that in seven to ten years, your body has literally recreated every cell in it, and you have a brand new body. Now, I know those of us wish we had a brand new body and don't feel like the body has recreated itself, myself included. But seven to ten years, every cell in the body has, has replaced itself. Clark, be a good boy. So, for instance, I, I used to have all this stuff memorized, but every two days, your body creates new blood cells. So for instance, there I jotted it down because I, you know, I used to have it memorized, but every two days red blood cells are recreated in Maine. Every four days, your stomach lining replaces itself. Muscle cells break down and regrow, or muscle tissue breaks down and regrows with exercise every two to four days after the exercise. Nerve cells regenerate and regrow two millimeters to five millimeters a day. Um, the reproductive cycle, as you know, the uterus lining replaces itself every cycle in a week. And then lastly, uh, fractures, bone fractures, the cells regenerate and then they heal the bra broken bone in six to 12 weeks. But it takes the, I'm sorry, seven, um, six to 12 weeks, but the takes the body seven to ten years to recreate itself, mainly the seven to ten years is because the skeletal system is the last holdout. That's the one that takes the longest. So if you look at the breakdown from two days, blood cells, well, seven to ten years is your skeletal system. So if your body's constantly recreating itself and it's making new cells every day, what you put into your body is extremely important. The old saying, you are what you eat, is 100% true. If you're eating junk food and you're eating high sugar diets, that's the fuel your body's using to convert to energy to maintain the processes in the body, which is the creation of cells. So nutrition is extremely important in the foundation of health and as to whether or not your body's going to create normal cells or abnormal cells. Now this is where cancer comes from. We have normal cells in our body and then the body creates new cells. Sometimes the body will create abnormal cells. 
And these abnormal cells can come from poor nutrition. So when we get to a point where we have normal cells and abnormal cells, and the body starts to create abnormal cells, and pretty soon we're getting more abnormal cells and less normal cells, more abnormal cells and less normal cells. And then when we have more abnormal cells than we have normal cells, this is when we have sickness and disease, cancer. So again, before I move on to the next part of my theory is, nutrition is extremely important for the recreation of cells. Now, how does this tie into chiropractic? Because there's a chiropractic aspect to this theory that I'm going to give you as to where cancer comes from. Since the body's constantly creating itself, and re or recreating itself, and making new cells every day, there's something in our body that directs this process. And this process is directed by the nervous system. Now you know <clears throat> from going to school that the nervous system is your brain, your spinal cord, and your spinal nerves. And it's a communication network. The brain sends body, sends mental impulses or communication down the spinal cord, out the spinal nerves, and that's how the body works. That's how the body knows what to do and when to do it. So for instance, it's also a feedback loop. So for instance, let's say I just ate something, and my body now gets the food in the stomach. The stomach sends a message to the nerves attached to the stomach, back to the spinal cord, up to the brain, letting the brain know that there's food there. The brain sends a message back down through the spinal cord to the spinal nerves, and then it directs the stomach to start digesting the food through body chemistry, secrete these chemicals, let's get this process going, let's digest it, let's move it through. That's all communication, feedback loop, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. One day I'll talk to you about the safety pin cycle, that's the, that's the talk of the feedback loop. So when these, the brain has to communicate for the body to function properly, all of the processes, not, the, not just digestion of food, not just the beating of the heart, not just the breathing of the air, not just the reproductive cycle, the brain has to communicate with all the body parts, organ systems, tissue, tissues and cells for the body to perform its duties. This includes the creation of cells. So if you're wondering how the body knows to create cells, it's the nervous system. The nervous system sends messages down the brain to the spinal cord, out the spinal nerves to the organs, tissues, and cells, and that's how it knows to create itself. Now as a chiropractor, this is extremely important to me, and this is where I have my cancer theory that has to do with neural impulse flow. If the spinal bones are subluxated, if there's a subluxation in the spinal bone, that subluxation, as you know, is the misalignment of the spine. It alters the shape of the opening. It's putting pressure on spinal nerves. It's causing a disruption, a disruption in nerve flow to wherever the nerve goes, the organs, the tissues, the cells. It's disrupting the brain's ability to communicate with that area. So for instance, let's say we have two bones, no subluxation, everything's fine. The nerve flow is great. The brain sends a message down to the stomach lining saying, hey, it's time to start recreating these stomach cells. Let's do the job. Let's create these cells. Every day we're going to, the old cells are dying off. We're creating new ones. Let's get the process going. So the brain's sending the message. Message is going back and forth. The stomach is creating normal cells. Now let's say we have a subluxation in the spine at the area where the nerves innervate or control the stomach. So as we know, the subluxation is a disruption in communication. The pressure on that nerve disrupts that neural impulse flow, which disrupts the communication network. The brain can't properly tell the stomach what to do if the neural impulses are impeded. Yeah, if, it, if, it's, if there's 100% flow, it'll tell it what to do. If it's 90% flow, the message will get there. If it's 80% flow, the message is going to get there. But once that disruption becomes greater, 60%, 50%, 40%, that communication is going to be so messed up that the stomach is not going to know what to do. It's not going to know how to handle 
that message that's coming through. So for instance, the message to create normal cells may go something like this here. Let's, let's be, I'll be an actor for a second. I'm the brain and I'm going to tell the stomach to make normal cells. All right, stomach, make normal cells, make normal cells. Please make normal cells. And the stomach does it. But now we have a subluxation there, so the communication's disrupted. So the message now may sound garbled and may get through like this. Okay, stomach, where I want you to start making normal cells. So it doesn't get the full message. So now instead of normal cells being created, we're starting to get abnormal cells. When we have more abnormal cells than normal cells, we now have diseased, tis diseased tissue, diseased organs, diseased systems. So what I'm getting at here is that the communication between the brain and the spinal cord to the spinal nerve to the body is extremely important in the process of the body's recreation of cells. The nervous system has to be able to direct this and it has to be able to communicate it properly to do it so. So, that being said, I'm getting a little parched here. Let me have a sip. Dark tea, loose leaf, high in antioxidants, good for you. Help your body make normal cells, all right? Antioxidants reverse cell damage. So that's why uh, loose leaf tea is real good for you. Don't drink your tea in a tea bag. I'm getting off message here. Don't drink your tea in a tea bag because most tea bags have plastic in it. So when you're steeping your tea, guess what's getting in your tea? The plastic. The plastic is now a toxin which then leads to the creation of abnormal cells. Okay, so we're all back on that abnormal cell thing. That was not a planned break, but I enjoyed that little uh, off ramp there. I need another sip. Earl Grey, if you're wondering. Um, so what I wanted to get at here is now I gave you the chiropractic perspective to the creation of normal cells and abnormal cells and how this could lead to cancer. So that being said, I want to reiterate that chiropractic care is not a treatment for cancer. Duh, right? It's not a treatment for cancer. What is chiropractic a treatment for? Misalignment, subluxations in the spine. That's why I got my shirt on today. Subluxation terminator. I get rid of subluxations. I'm a subluxation terminator. This was a gift given to me this week by the Cerrone family who mailed it up from Florida. They're my um, chiropractors who got me into chiropractic if you remember my one video. So chiropractic is not a treatment for cancer, but that being said, is it a benefit to people who have cancer? damn straight because if chiropractic has to do with the communication from the brain to the rest of the body and the creation of cells and in making body parts work better then why wouldn't you want that to be part of your treatment more importantly why wouldn't you want that to be part of your health program for prevention and wellness so you see it's it's an interesting it's an interesting profession that I'm tied into that I've been involved in for a long time because what we do here is we have a system of health care, not a system of sick care, a system of health care. And this system of health care is designed, it's the whole sole point. If you go back to the beginning of the chiropractic, watch my one video, it had nothing to do with neck pain and back pain. It had to do with health and wellness, taking pressure off nerves so the body worked better. That's what chiropractic is. It's not a treatment for disease or sickness or cancer, but darn it to heck, it's a benefit to anybody who is sick or who has a disease or has cancer because it's important to improve nerve flow. Yeah, and the byproducts are of regular chiropractic care is we're balancing the musculature which helps with your aches and pains. We're taking friction off the bony surface of the bone which helps prevent degenerative changes. But by and far the number one most important thing is that nerve pressure removal because that's how the body becomes healthier. That's how the body maintains health. And it's so important, and it's the biggest message I've been trying to get through for 32 years, or 30 years, or however long it's been. And I've written articles, I've written blogs, I've sent emails, I've put things in the newspaper. 
This is my first time uh, with a video discussing it, so I'm a little thrilled about that because I'm going to share this out to everybody. Maybe I'll put it on Facebook too. But I've also given lectures on this. I've actually been asked to come to churches and to, um, and to civic societies and civic meetings and clubs to, uh, to talk about chiropractic and to also give the, the, um, my theory on cancer lecture. My dog keeps running back and forth. I don't know if he's in the view or not. But anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today is my theories on cancer. It has to do with the creation of normal cells versus abnormal cells. It has to do with what you put into your body. You are what you eat. And it has to do with nerve pressure on your spine, disrupting the communication to the, to the process of creating normal cells. Okay? I know I got a little... Um, overboard there, but this is one of the topics that I'm passionate about with because I really think we could help more people to be healthier if they understood this basic philosophy. So if you made it to the end of this video, please, if you share it with your friends, right, give the link out to your friends. If you have friends or family that have cancer or, get, or are over cancer, more importantly in remission, send this out to them because this is extremely important stuff. All right stuff. It's a huge word, you know. It's a big word. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't think of anything bigger than stuff. But now I'm just blabbing on. So I'm going to get off the camera. I think I did a good job with this. I hope you agree. I want you to have a great day. The sun is coming out. It's 4.34 on a Saturday afternoon. As Jimmy Buffett says, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. We could wait for 20 minutes and so I'll sip my tea. All right? Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.